Thanks, Ron. Well, as you know, February is Heart Health Month, and who better to take the lead than Deaconess Heart Group? Becky Millard is the executive director of the Cardiovascular Service Line and the Heart Group. She's here to share more. She's wearing her red. I am. Every day, are you wearing red? Pretty much for the whole month, and a lot of times even throughout the whole year. Just a good way to celebrate it's and a good call way attention. To, exactly. Well, what are some ways that uh, we can really kind of raise consciousness about the need for heart health, and what are some ways we can really improve our own heart health? Well, you know, we focus on February, but it's an issue throughout the whole year, yes. as you point out, Angie. And we know that heart disease is the number one killer of men and women across our country. And so February is a time that the American Heart Association and many of us involved in health care really try to focus activities and awareness on heart health. We know that every 80 seconds a woman dies from heart disease and it is the number one killer of Americans across the country. So it is a big deal. What can we do? Certainly being aware of risk factors, and there's a lot of information out there, whether it's stop smoking, keep your blood pressure under control, exercise like we were talking about a few moments ago with yoga, that's great. Um, cholesterol, all of that is extremely important to continue to work on being heart healthy. And that's a way, it, it's so interesting about just about health issues. For us to, to invest in ourselves, it's not going to come to us from outside ourselves. And getting people to and understand that you all do so much with education it, to help it, people get that and own it. It is a big deal. We, we like to think, I think a, a lot of the American lifestyle is, oh, if something happens, I'll take a pill and that'll take care right, of it. Right. Or I'll go and get this procedure done and take care of it. And it's really not that way. We have to own our own heart health. We have to advocate for our health and then uh, do things uh, as best we can to keep that in moderation. One of the things that you can do, we really encourage individuals to communicate with their primary care physician. Talk with your doctor about your concerns about your heart health. And in that conversation, whether it's controlling your blood pressure, your lipids, etc., also it, it may be an option for you to have a heart scan. A heart scan is something that we do offer at Deaconess Gateway where with a physician's order for $49, you can have a scan of your heart and it's an early detector, if you will, of a risk for heart disease. So communication with your primary care physician, keeping risk factors under control, and then if you fall into that subset of criteria that you may be at risk, Talking to your doctor about a heart scan is a great way to go. There are lots of things you can do to be proactive. Absolutely, absolutely. And, and I think one of the most important things is speaking up. Speak up about if your body, if you sense that your body is telling you something's not right, seek health care and uh, get attention to that. Quickly. Quickly, <laughs> yes. Quickly. Now, you have some programs this month and events. We do, we do. We have uh, Healthy Hearts from the Start at the Women's Hospital. We've been doing this for several years now. Every baby born at the Women's he uh, Hospital during the month of February gets a little red hat to wear. <laughs> and they're so cute. And they're made by a lot of the volunteers throughout the hospital and the community. So those, not only does the baby get the red hat, but the mom gets information about heart health for the whole family. You know, it really is a family event. If you are exercising as a family, taking a walk, uh, cooking healthy meals, those kinds of activities make a, make a big difference. So that's going on during the month of February. And then also we are the sponsor, presenting sponsor this month with the American Heart Association for Go Red for Heart. And that's coming up on February the 15th. It's so much fun. What it an is. event. You talk about exciting. It is. That is exciting. It is an exciting event. We have our own Shelly Kirk is our uh, yes, hostess. I, we love for, her, Shelly. We do. And she has done that for us before and just does an amazing job. And uh, we are almost sold out. We only have like one table left. So and the table of eight? A table of eight. So if you're okay. interested in, in getting to that event, then you need to act now. But we typically have over 400 women focusing on women and heart disease. And we've got some really uh, uh, heart-touching stories this year uh, that will, I think, really impress everybody in the room. And it's for a wonderful cause, yes, raising money for the American Heart Association. And 
we benefit right here in this community from those dollars that are raised. Thank you so much for all this great information. You can be heart healthy, and Deaconess can help. And come to the Go Red for Women uh, luncheon because it's lots of fun. It is. Thank you, Becky. It's You're good welcome, to see Angie. You. We'll be back for Lifestyles after this. This portion of Lifestyles is sponsored by Deaconess Heart Hospital.